Hello friends and in this lecture we'll see some more problems based on the Picard's methods and here is question is given use the Picard's method to find y at x is equal to 0 0.25 0 0.5 and 0.75 and given here dy by dx is equal to x square divided by y square plus 1 and the initial value condition given y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 so we can rewrite here solution given dy by dx is equal to x square upon y square plus 1 and value is, is y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 so first we'll integrate here first dy is equal to we can rewrite it x square by y square plus 1 dx y will transform 0 to y is equal to 1 to y and x is 0 to x so after integration we can rewrite y is equal to 1 plus 0 to x x square by y square plus 1 dx so now it's become this is your formula and based on this formula you have to find the value of your y1 and y2 so first we'll find the value of y1 so y1 is equal to we can write it 1 plus integral of 0 to x x square by this value is this value is y0 values right here y0 square plus 1 dx so we can substitute it here 0 to x x square by y0 y0 is 1 this is y0 and the value is 1 so 1 square is 1 plus 1 we can write 2 with respect to dx so 1 plus x square by 2 integration is x to the power 3 by 6 0 to x and that value is 1 plus x to the power 3 by 6 so this is your y1 similarly we will find the value of y2 1 plus 0 to x x square and now this value become your y1 plus 1 dx so 1 plus 0 to x x square divided by y1 y1 value is this 1 plus x to the power of 3 by 6 whole square plus 1 dx this will this equations you have to find the integration so we will first uh, we have to apply the substitution method so let consider x to the power 3 by 6 plus 1 is so if we differentiate you create 3x square by 2 uh, 3x square by 6 so this is 6 and uh, is equal to dt by dx so we can rewrite <coughs> x square dx is equal to 2 into dt so we can substitute it here 1 plus 0 to x this is x square dx is 2 dt divided by t square plus 1 you can write it here 1 plus 2 as it is only and the integration of 1 by x square plus 1 you can write tan inverse of x so you can write tan inverse of and that value is where to where 0 to x so this up to here 0 to x so we can write it 1 plus 2 tan inverse x value is uh, this t value is, so we'll get it here 1 plus 2 into tan x to the power 3 by 6 plus 1 minus lower is this one 
2 into 10 inverse of x cube by 6 plus 1 and if you substitute 0 here you will get it 2 into 10 inverse of 1 and 10 inverse 1 value is pi by 4 so we will get it y2 value is 1 plus you will get the y2 values is 1 minus pi by 2 plus 2 into 10 inverse of 1 plus x to the power 3 by 6. So, this is your y2 and we have to find up to the second appro approximations only. So, now y value is this is your answer. So, now if you want to find the value of y of 0 0.5, you can substitute the values of x is 0 0.5. So, you can write 1 minus pi by 2 plus 2 into 10 inverse of 1 plus 0 0.25 whole cube divided by 6. And if you find it, this one will get it 1.0026. Similarly, if you find the value of 1, uh, 0.5, you will get the value of 1.0206 and y of 0.75 will get it 1.0679 okay so this is the problems so now we'll see the other problems and that is your consider first question uh, one more questions so we'll do it and given here compute the value of y of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 this value we have to find it and given dy by dx is equal to y minus x by y plus x and initial value condition y0 is equal to 1 given by using the picard's method so will uh, which means you can write it here y naught is equal to 1 add x naught is equal to 0 so, we will start the problem dy by dx is equal to y minus x by y plus x. So, we can rewrite dy is equal to y minus x by y plus x. Integral form 0 to sorry y naught is 1, 1 to y and x is equal to 0 to x dx. So, we can write here 1 plus, so we can rewrite here one step, I am going further here, y is equal to write 1 plus 0 to x, y minus x by y plus x dx. So, this is your formula for this particular questions. Now, we will find the value of your y1. So, y1 is equal to 1 plus 0 to x and you will substitute the value of y is equal to y naught y naught value is what 1 so 1 minus x by 1 plus x dx this integration you have to solve it so this integration you can do by the partial fraction okay so partial fraction is what if something is given x plus b by px plus q yeah cx plus r something is given like that so you can write a by px plus q plus b by cx plus r and we can find the value of your a and b similarly we can do for these questions we can write it here integration of this so 1 minus x is called to a into 1 plus x plus b so x is called to if x is called to minus 1 so b value is your 2 and b if i put it 2 here so you will get it here x is called to put 0 so 1 minus 2 is called to a so a is called to minus 1 so you got the value of a is minus 1 and b is called to 2 by using the partial fraction we will substitute it here 
so we can write here y1 is equal to one plus zero to x minus of one plus x plus two by one plus x dx so one plus this will get cancelled zero to x minus one plus two by one plus x dx so one plus minus one integration is minus x plus 2 is constant 1 by 1 plus x integration is log of 1 plus x that is your value of 0 to x so you can write y1 is equal to 1 minus x plus 2 into and if you substitute value you will get same thing only log of 1 plus x and lower if I substitute here x is also 0 and log 1 is 0 so this is your y1 value so now if you want to find the value of your y of 0 0.1 so you can write it here 1 minus 0 0.1 plus 2 into log of 1 plus 0 0.1 you will get it that's value 1.0906 and y of z for point for 0 0.2 1 minus 0 0.2 plus 2 into log of 1 plus 0 0.2 you will get the value of your 1.1646 so this is the another problem for the Picard's method. Now in the next lecture we'll study another method for the solving the numerical method, and we'll thank you for watching.